Good morning guys. It's Monday morning, time for a crazy busy week. So we are all set up for today's shoot. So I've got a corporate headshot shoot today with five members of staff in the same company. And we're gonna spend about four or five hours with them. So we're gonna shoot them in the studio first and foremost. I'm um, using some butterfly lighting, getting some nice, modern, stylish, quick stylized shots. And then we're gonna head down to timeout and hopefully use the outdoor pool there. With the idea being that the company doesn't want something really boring, they want something quite different and quite unique that's gonna make them stand out. So I'm gonna approach this a bit like a fashion shoot today and use some really heavy lighting with it. Underexpose the ambient quite a lot and really pick the guys out when we're shooting in different scenes. And if we find a good spot to do uh, multiple exposure, group shot, we're gonna set that up and shoot that too. So it should be a really interesting day. The first section of today's shoot is done in the studio. We're now driven around to Tynemouth, so on the coast of the northeast. And we've got the beautiful center of the beach behind us where we're gonna go down, use the old swim pool. As you can see in the background there, shoot some really dramatic portraits using some of the Pixar Pro lighting. So the City 600 with an easy open 90 centimeter octobox. And we're gonna shoot some really dark, underexposed images to create almost like a GQ sort of magazine look. Right, so we are halfway through today's shoot. So we've already been in the studio. We've been down to the beach at Timeout and we've just arrived in Newcastle. You might hear the announcer at Central Station over the top of the microphone. So the weather's changing quite a bit now. It's went from being quite a dark cloud and um, looking like it's gonna rain and like a really white coverage you can see in the background there. So I'm hoping the rain stays off enough before we get this last set shot because we've still got a few sets of headshots to shoot, a couple of group shots. Uh, the guys who were shooting when I get changed in the casual wear from the formal wear, just to give us a little bit of a, a different look to the images. So I'm hoping the weather stays off long enough. It should take us another hour or so, which means we can get these images edited and sent straight over to the client before we finish today. Right, so that is today's session all finished. So took about 600 shots in total. Really pleased with the variation, the style of shots we got um, across the full set. So use a mix of natural light, artificial light, and it hit so many different locations in one day. I'm really pleased with what we've got. So client seems really happy too. So we're gonna head back to the studio now, get these edited and get them sent straight off for the client. Busy day all finished, so great shoot out. We've got a load of images, about 600. I still need to work through and finish getting edited. But came home, picked the kids up from school, took Ollie to swimming, came back home again, got changed, we're just about to take Ollie to football. Now the clouds behind me look as though we're gonna get some thunder and lightning, so hopefully it stays off till just after we finish football. <laughs> So we've just finished a great meeting this morning with blogger Pixie Tenenbaum, so I'll put a link down to her blog below. So that's Fashion Voyeur. So we've come up with a really good idea, something we can do together. A little bit of a joint venture, so watch out for this space if you're a blogger. And that's exactly what I'm talking about with that. So the diary for the day has changed ever so slightly in that I thought I was going to be shooting for a restaurant launch tonight in Beamish, but it's actually on Thursday night, so Pixie, who I've just met with, is going to be one of the bloggers who's going to be there. And we're just comparing diaries for the week, and I said, oh, I'll see you tonight, and she said, no, it's on Thursday, so check the diary, lo and behold, it is on Thursday, so it means it gives me a bit more of an easy day today, so we've been and had the meeting with Pixie this morning, 
and then we're going to go and set up for the product photography shoot that the client came for this morning which is going to be shooting some um, mobile phone parts for a company who distributes chargers and things like that and because i'm not doing that shoot tonight it means i can catch up on some editing and have some time with the boys hopefully it's still gonna be a nice day and we'll get outside and play the park or go to the beach or do something nice like that and tomorrow again my diaries change ever so slightly i was going to be shooting not a lot tomorrow but the shoot i was doing on thursday morning which is for a wardrobe fitting company who wants some shots of their showroom which was going to happen on thursday is now going to happen tomorrow because i'm going in for an mri scan on thursday morning that's all in preparation before saturday's wedding down in Middlesbrough. so i'm going to be out of the house probably for about 16 or 17 hours on saturday and i went and then a workshop on sunday in newcastle which is another outdoor flash workshop we did have two models booked in for that so we've got rowena and jordan who you've seen on a vlog two weeks ago when we ran an indoor lighting studio but jordan actually got jumped in newcastle a few nights ago and um, he's in a pretty bad way he's been in the hospital all his face is swollen up he had a ruptured spleen and stuff like that so i hope you are feeling better jordan really sorry to hear what happened to your mates and hopefully you'll be on the mend and back model and suit <laughs> So today's been a bit of a, a funny surreal day, so I'm sure you ha the news hasn't escaped you this week that there was a bomb attack in Manchester at the concert at the MAN and 22 people died in that, um, including young kids and it's it's one of those where it hits you really hard when you're a parent. Your eldest son's nine, youngest son's four and you don't, you know, you don't think things like that happen so close to home. Um, you know, you read about it in the papers and seeing the news from all other countries and stuff and while it is incredibly sad that it happens everywhere else, you know, when it happens so close and it's it's so personal that it's happening in a city close to us and kids that are the same age as our kids and it's it's horrific. Um, and while I have been really selfish today and totally trying to put this at the back of my head while I've been working today, you know, got to the point where I sat in the car tonight waiting to pick up from school and I just cried my eyes out and it's you know, seeing the picture of that young girl who's eight years old who's not going to go home. Um, you know, our parents are never going to get to see her alive again, and it's it's absolutely horrific. Um, you know, and it just it makes you realise how important it is to you know cherish the moments you have with your kids. To you know, sometimes we we'll chastise them too easily and shout at them too easy when they're little buggers. But you know what? I bet that family would give anything to have that little girl back. So it does make you think just what's important in life, and not to sweat the small stuff. Sometimes that it really doesn't matter. You know, the little stuff doesn't matter. And it puts into perspective what's really important in the world. And you get these individuals who are, are, are determined to cause carnage, and it's you know it's we've just got to stick together and do everything we can and show united front and be be the British stubborn people that we are and keep going and keep going. <laughs> just try and enjoy life as much as I possibly can. But you know, if there's anything I can take away from today, it's to spend as much time as I can with my kids, enjoy the time I spend with them, and just make the most of it, and try and remember what it was like to be a kid. How fun it was, how, you know, how the world was fascinating and fun and huge, and you know, there was so much to us. And not all the bad stuff we see as adults now. You were my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. I'm a normal daddy, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. So it is Wednesday morning, I am in the studio, I've just recorded a new video, so I mentioned this on last week's vlog that we're doing a new segment video which is going to be sponsored by Photoshoot Magazine, so it's a magazine that I write articles for every month, and I'm just going to be doing a little video every week, just talking the same things I write about in the articles. So this morning we're heading over to Whitley Bay on the northeast coast where we're going to be shooting for a wardrobe company. We're going to be doing some interior shots of their shop, some of their products. So we're going to head over there and do that now. It's a glorious day. As you can see, my head's a little bit red on top. Yesterday apparently was the hottest day of the year so far. And I was sitting in a garden for a meeting and I managed to burn all the top of my head and my forehead. So if I look a little bit red, it's just because I got burned yesterday. <music> So 
So we've finished our shoot for the wardrobe company in Tynemouth, or in Whitley Bay I should say. It's red hot, it's like 24 degrees, so it would be very rude not to come down to the beach and have some ice cream. Now when I say we, I don't mean the royal we, I mean me and Jess who's with us on work experience this week. So I'm going to make the most of it, we're going to make sure she texts her friends who've got really boring jobs on this week. And on like places like accountancy offices and things like that, and we're coming to the beach for ice cream. So with our first job of the day done, I've just done a little bit of flying around with a drone around Tynemouth Beach because it's absolutely beautiful and a bit of wind in the sky. So we're going to head back to the studio, still got a little bit of product photography we've got to get done this afternoon. And then hopefully I'm going to come back out with the kids when Jess goes home from work experience. I might even bring them back down on this beach. It's absolutely glorious. The beach is packed full of people just enjoying the sunshine. It's not often we get this out here, so we might as well make the most of it while we can. So slight change of pace today, just picked the kids up from school, it is glorious outside. So we're going to go to the beach. So we've got buckets and spades, we're going to go and get some snacks too. And stay down there pretty much as long as we possibly can. For the first time this year, I'm wearing shorts. Me and the boys are having a lovely time down the beach. It is glorious, it's red hot. I can feel the back of my head getting sunburned already, but uh, this is one of the big joys of being self employed. That I can literally pick the boys up from school at 20 past three, come straight down to the beach, and come and enjoy it and not really worry about leaving work early or anything like that. So, you know, when you look back and you've made the decision to go self employed rather than in full time employment, this is one of those moments when you think, absolutely, that was the right decision to do it. Starting to get a little bit chilly now, so we're going to take the boys home, get a nice shower, get all this sand off them. Couldn't see much of football, it's EuroLeague finals time, Man United against Ajax live on YouTube, so we're going to go and watch it on the telly at home. So 
So in Newcastle this morning I've had a quick networking meeting at 7 o'clock. Just having to walk along the quayside because the traffic's absolutely mental so there's no point trying to even drive home through it. Got to go back now, got to go to the hospital, get this MRI scan done and get back to work this afternoon and get all my editing finished for this week before a pretty hectic weekend. Yeah, so a good note for anyone, if you're ever going for an MRI scan or any procedures in the hospital at all, always read the small print of the letter that tells you do not eat before the appointment. So I had a bacon sandwich this morning, which means I couldn't go for my scan. And with the mindset, two wrongs don't make a right, I might as well come down to the Hive in general and have some more bacon sandwiches and cake. I told Jess, my work experience girl, that she wasn't going to be starting until later on today anyway. So we're going to come down and have a quick coffee with my mum and my niece and my nephew and enjoy some more of the sunshine. This is Max. This is Ruby. This is Ruby. And Max. Max and Ruby. <laughs> Ruby and Max. So, a little bit of coffee and cake. So, I'm going to head back to the studio now. Get all sorted for Jess, my student, coming back and get some editing finished before I get all my gear prepped for shooting in the restaurant Pepe is, which has just changed to San Lorenzo up in Beamish tonight. This heat is just getting ridiculous now. This is far too much for me. I've said this before in the vlogs. I prefer it was snowing, it was winter, and it was freezing. It is Thursday night. If you can hear that noise, it isn't wind, it's air con. It is ridiculously hot still. I've just arrived for the night's restaurant job, San Lorenzo up in Beamish. So they're opening a new restaurant tonight. So I'm here to capture that, the event. Uh, but this heat is just bizarre. It's, it's too hot. I've already had to have a shower before I even came out. I'm sweating already. So I'm sitting in the car in the shade with the air con blasting to cool down as much as possible before I go in. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So huge thanks to PixiPro who just sent me three new products to review and look at for them. So the first one is a collapsible background which I can't fold up. The second one is an auto standing light stand. It's an auto, it's an automatic, it's a light stand that folds out itself. And the last one, I don't know what it is but watch out because I will be reviewing it very soon. 
There are very few things in life that really, really irritate me. One is very slow internet, and two is a program you pay for that just doesn't work. We transfer, I pay about £12 a month, granted it's not a great deal of money, but when you're paying for something, you expect it to work. Now I use this transfer system for the majority of my work to transfer to commercial clients. Nine times out of 10, the transfer just fails. And then at other times, it gets to 100%, so it should have sent, and just doesn't, it just freezes, and you go and get in touch with the guys and go, oh, yeah, sorry, it's a known problem. Just fix it. <laughs> So I promised Jess earlier this week that we'd come for a milkshake after we did our shoot on Friday, but bearing in mind the shoot cancelled, it's too nice in here not to be outside. So we came to Newcastle anyway, the Great British Cupcake, where to get a geet big shake. We're gonna meet one of my friends, Mark, and then head back to the studio, because we've got a little bit more work to do before we finish for the weekend. So a great little pit stop in Newcastle to get some milkshake and some ice cream and cool down a little bit. Going to head back to the studio now and finish getting sorted out for the gear I need for tomorrow's wedding. So batteries charged, cameras cleaned, memory cards sorted, all the boring stuff, especially on a hot day like this. Saturday morning, time for a wedding. So a great start of the day already, I've been to the hairdressers with our bride, getting the hair done, come back to the hotel, shot all the prep, then remember I left my camera bag at the hairdressers, which has my spare lenses in, and triggers, batteries, everything, so I've got to go back there before I go to the church now, so a bit of a rush. But luckily, the storms haven't come through yet, it's forecast for thunder and lightning today, later on, so the bride and groom are getting married at one o'clock, and the storms are forecast for two, so hopefully we'll just miss it and get them back in the hotel before the storms start. So it's half past nine, we've just finished for the day, so just say goodbye to our lovely couple. Had an absolutely fantastic day, but I am exhausted, and it's a 45 minute drive home. So I've got two bottles of brew dog in the fridge, I'm hoping Laura hasn't drank them before I get home, because I really need them, it's been a long day. It's been great fun, we've got some great shots, but it's been tiring. <music> So slight change of plan today, I was supposed to be teaching a workshop in Newcastle but the forecast this morning said I was going to chuck it down all day. So I'm now at Oliver's football tournament where it's glorious sunshine so it worked out pretty well. So that's the end of a really busy week. It turned out it didn't rain at all, so really frustrated that I had to postpone today's workshop on one hand and that I had to let the people down. And it's one of those things with the weather, I can't control it, but I still really feel, I still feel really guilty when we have to postpone things. And all we can do is, is, is best judge 
how it is going forward. And you know, the forecast said it was going to rain for pretty much four straight hours, right bang at the time we we're going to do the workshop. So, you know, on the one hand, it's frustrating we had to cancel. On the other hand, it was brilliant to get a goal out of those football tournaments. They played really well, got to the semi final. Oli played in goal, which he doesn't do very often anymore, and had an absolute storm. He played brilliant, had some fantastic saves, and they're really unlucky not to do better. But, you know, that brings this week's vlog to an end. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had an absolutely fantastic week. It's been so diverse, such a huge range of things we've been shooting. Met some brilliant people, had a great time with Jess having some company who did her work experience with me this week. Do watch out for next week. I've got more videos coming in terms of interviews with Northeast Creatives. I've got two, two or three product reviews to do, as you've seen from the video. I've got a couple of tutorials which are due out next week too. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to leave me a big thumbs up. It does make a big difference if you give me a thumbs up to where my video sits and ranks and all that sort of stuff. And don't forget to subscribe and come back next week. Obviously, leave me any comments and let me know what you think. Cheers, guys.